Hey, what's up everyone? This is the start to part four. We just met up with Nadine, we got our head cut open, and now we're talking to Croatoa. Hope you enjoyed this episode, now on with the show. You are new, and you are welcome. I'm Croatoa. I'm not so new. What does this tribe do? We dream. Dream of a better world. Not falling apart like ours. And when we find a dream that makes us forget this world, we dream that we do not have to wake up. That hill is holy. It must be cleared. Jackson told us this. Some went to fight. I stayed with Punga. Punga does not fight. Punga grows where it can. Punga knows what is important. Punga grows strong. I help Punga grow stronger. Punga understands me. I understand Punga. That is all it needs to be. I do not know if this is a secret, but I have always used this shovel. It has seen much work and much dirt. If it helps, have it. But be careful not to cut yourself. It can make you sick. Fertilize a shovel, huh? Make you sick? Alright, thanks. Blessings to you on your journey. Thank you, Croatoa, for my new shovel. Okay, maybe there's more tribals outside. Thousands of Confederate prisoners of war died near Point Lookout in the later years of the war. I think that's what he was talking about. Another tribal. And the mansion's pretty far away. Trespassers will be shot. Let's go see what Desmond has to say about all this. It's a pretty accurate and great recreation. <clears throat> you infiltrated those tribals yet? I'm in. I found out where their leader's hiding. Those idiots let me in with open arms. I have the location of their leader. Nice work. As if sneaking into a compound of morons is any kind of work. So why haven't you tracked down their leader and grilled him for info? Don't waste your time reporting back. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. How dare you talk to me like that? You're lucky I don't punch you, Desmond. Sorry for keeping you informed. If you had given me a cell phone or a radio, you know, maybe I wouldn't have had to come back. I did more than him. He, like, he's he's like, oh, like, that's an accomplishment. And what did you do? You sat in this house. Right? I mean, I don't know. Ooh, look at that. The unchecked forces of erosion have carved sinkholes and grottos throughout Point Lookout. It's a cool loading screen. Someone climbing out. 
Really? A little tiny fence stopped me? Wow, this looks nice. What? We need the key. That's how that's how the leader gets down there, probably. Uh oh. What's in the graveyard? Why do all ghouls have to be crazy? Look at this verticality right there. Then goes down. Where's this ship? Oh, I see it. Can I make that jump? Yeah. All right. Found the ship. Who is coming? How are you even doing that? Oh, thank you. You're the best. Is there a way in this ship? Gonna, when we're gonna have like a fast travel basically right back to the other thing once we get through this cave I could have collected the frog oh look at his arms what's up with his arms they're so long his legs look legit but his arms look extra long You can't see me. for you, buddy. Oh no, where did I go? I'm like legit stuck in this spot. Can't jump. Can't do anything. God damn it.
Clearly, we gotta go this way. See? Capture the frog. Here is the leader. There he is. No longer shall its mystical powers be diminished. At last! Yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane, for all those rise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton! Psychic domination, and that and that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device. No need to worry, Enlightened One. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities obstructing your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer, and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty real. Hello? You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? I was drawn to your eternal wisdom. I just wanted to meet the tribal leader. I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from a higher master, whether it be how to explore higher planes or the decision to remove the destructive ghoul. All wisdom comes from the transcendent master. You mean you're not really in charge? With that, I was so wise. No, true leadership of the tribe belongs to the higher mind of the enlightened one. Although his mind has moved beyond the need for flesh. His consciousness still returns here to guide our people. I merely interpret his wishes. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Perhaps if you are fortunate, he will choose to share his wisdom with you. Yeah, learn more about the brain. So, it's really a holo- oh yeah, it's a projection, right? It's actually somewhere else. So, you're the mouse that was staring around here. Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. At the moment, they've had no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Desmond, that bag of bones and bile will pay dearly for his trespasses. Were it not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence has only held my brilliance, so perhaps I owe him my thanks. An appreciation I'll show in the form of a quick and messy death. Ha ha ha! Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. Desmond. That bag of bones and bile will pay dearly. Well, if not for his interference, I would yeah, still have a portion of the show in the form still, of a quick and messy death. Has only 
Jesus. What the fuck happened there? Away with you! Shortcut. <clears throat> She like you know what's crazy is that girl knew about a, a way in that was way down there when literally this it's right there right behind like that one's so much closer like if she was following him then why wouldn't he just take that all right so what are my options speak with Desmond I want to check this spy thing out. So let's go to the motel. We'll speak to Desmond after. Hell yeah, look at that. That's a good thumbnail. Room 1D. Here we are. Who's the dead guy? Locker key. That hat. Safe house terminal. Let's see what this is all about. USA, Dr. Jang. Contact tape added. Recover the dead Chinese spy. What? I apologize that I cannot receive you in person. Agent Yang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. A great mind of the people. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with a password. With the password, you need to access your mission dossier. Zuniheon, Agent Jang, end auto transcription. Compare the audio for accuracy. So, what was this contact thing? Um... No, it's probably under miscellaneous, isn't it? I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Jiang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe oh, house. Oh, so they, point they play it for you? Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission debriefing. The agreed upon payment will be paid upon extraction. Journey Hao Yun, Agent Jiang. That three words were totally different than I thought they were. The Z is silent. Where am I going? 
Recover the dead Chinese spy's mission debriefing from the locker in Point Loco. Okay. how we can turn the power on but I really want to know no oh why is there so many of them why are you stuck bank and use password Xintianwen. The software is configured to recognize only our voices. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. Yes. Sweet. There's nothing in there. Secure teller. Vocal authorization requested. Processing. Uh. Go to the bank and use password Xintianwen. 
The software is configured to recognize only our voices. Processing. Voice ID confirmed. Access granted. Oh, is this one? There we go. Espionage debriefing. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SS 93718A before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operators in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Jiang. The will of the people, huh? Oh, we were already there, weren't we? Oh, I gotta go outside. Dorothy came to the to fetch Baron's will, and we couldn't get the box open because his voice was the only one configured for authorization. <laughs> oh, so this actually tells you how you're supposed to do that. Where is this detention camp? Oh, I can't. I didn't even do it yet. This went outside. Oh. oh, there you go. That's a beautiful one, too. Can I already kill everything here? What is that? Oh. That's cool. That's kind of gross. So many basements go into the morgue. I feel like morgues should be like not in a basement because now you got to drag a corpse downstairs. You know, you should be able to like wheelchair it in, cart them in on a stretcher or something. The Velvet Curtain. Investigate the fate of 
at Turtle Dove Detention Camp. So we're in the morgue at. Oh, Jesus. We're in the morgue at Turtle Dove Detention Camp. Let's grab this stuff. Blood pack. What's that? Anything good? Medical brace. What am I going to do with that? I like the ambiance in the morgue. It's kind of unsettling, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Give me all that. Do you have anything? A couple bottle caps. I'll take that. Ah, oh, dang. There's a legendary one there, too. Oh, shit. The cremation works. That's pretty cool. Can we cremate someone? That would be sick. Let's see. Legendary one's dead. Is he though? Definitely dead now. Hey, it's Yang Wan, so we found him. So this is where they ended up, in the morgue. They got killed. You found what's left of Agent Yang. Inspecting the remains closely, you discover a false molar tooth. There's a microfilm within that must contain the self-destruct codes for the Chinese submarine. Remove self-destruct codes. Activate the self-destruct protocol. Vagrant. Ooh, bobby pin. Oh no, Shen Mei. A plunger? Did he die? Death by plunger? Is that what happened? We'll never know. All we know is they put him in the morgue with a plunger. Alright, time to go. Time to head out. Thousands of Confederate prisoners of war died near Point Lookout in the later years of the American Civil War. Dang, that hat has a lot of detail. So now we gotta go to some submarine and we gotta go back to the mansion. So Oh, uh, you know what? We'll we'll head there by foot. See what we see along the way, you know? Such a beautiful world. I don't wanna fast travel through it. I'd rather like keep it moving. See if we'll see what we can see. There's a bunch of locations that I see that I have not found yet. You know, like, what's this square? Some kind of homestead, it looks like. Maybe? I mean, that looks like a house. If I ever saw one. If I ever saw a marker, I would think that that was a house. Whoa! Hey, scrappers. Oh, damn, he just turned into Swiss cheese. Yeah. right there I was gonna say I guess it failed but we're all right we're all right anyways fail or no Ooh, Marguerite's shack what's inside moonshine what the hell was that it said Marguerite's, see? But then this says Moonshiner Shack, so is Marguerite a Moonshiner? I mean, that's what that kind of would lead me to believe, right? Ooh, hello. You don't look hostile. Definitely plenty of booze here. Oh, shit, she's moonshining. Let's talk to, um, who is this? Is this Marguerite? You finding your way around, sweetie? It is. Hey, Marguerite. Hey there. You ain't have the look of a local young lady. Think you could help a sick woman get on the mand? 
reckon it's the orange fever. I, I do feel light in my head. I've treated enough illnesses to know there's no such thing as orange fever. You're faking, we both know it. So let's just cut to the chase. Well, uh, oh, fine. Maybe you're no hogs fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Your still could, could stand to be fixed up. Uh, I want to know more about you. Why, I'm just folk. What more is there? <laughs> and here I thought you were a quick one. Look, sweetie, I reckon you'd have shot me as soon as you walked in here if you weren't a kind soul or at least an enterprising type. That old thing? It's been in my family for years and years. Well, before the bombs. There was a time folks couldn't get no tonic by law, and my family did okay helping them get what they needed. So your family's a bunch of moonshiners during the prohibition times? I mean, that was a long time ago from this. Like, that's generations on generations later. Where do you keep moving to? Things aren't wonderful, but I reckon it's hard all around. My family's lived here about since, well, before the war. And I reckon we'll be here a long time ah, yet. She went back to the good lighting spot. That's funny. Well, let's change the subject. I thought you'd never ask. All right. Uh, your still could stand to be fixed up. Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? I can fix it up. Let's call it 100 caps of work. I reckon I can scrape that together. Go ahead and do what you can for it. Stop getting up. Jesus. Thank God. Out of the way, Marguerite. All right. Chemist. I'm a chemist. Form the need of repairs. Bada boom, bada bing. And just like that, we're back in business, boys. You finding your way around, sweetie? <clears throat> Thanks for mending the steel, sweetie. Here's your pay. You're welcome. Let's talk about this tonic. What to do? Secret family technique. Be Where are you going? Jesus, sit down. What are you doing? Okay, have an air rest, you know? What are you doing? How are you even... How is that possible? Is there something I'm missing here? She's performing... Is that like a, a new version of a squat? Like, what is that? finding your way around sweetie hey well if it ain't my favorite out of towner secret family technique been so for generations help me brew some up by gathering ingredients i'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps okay uh i'll bite what do we need this and that let me know when you want to work out the details Let's talk about the tonic first. We need to gather up the ingredients. So we need punga fruit, yeast, and batteries for that extra kick. You best keep this one to yourself, sweetie. The family tonic gets a real kick from our secret ingredient. You just need a little bit of battery acid. Oh, don't look like that now. You reckon I'd be around to tell you about it if it weren't safe enough? Bring me six fission batteries, and I'll scrape them into the mix. I might have some of this stuff already. I definitely have punga fruit. I don't know if I have yeast. Well, we'll need yeast. You can find it about anywhere, but there's a big stash on the boardwalk. Three sacks is enough. Punga fruit, and lots of it. The stuff those loonies make at the church is the best. Ten of those will do but it might cost you. Wild fruit will do the trick, but you'll need twice as much of it. No, no, we'll get the punga. All right. I thought you'd never ask. I'm ready, let me know what you need. There aren't too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. 
we'll need punga fruit, yeast, and some fission batteries for that extra little kick. Okay, so I can thought you never have to give them all at once. I gotta go. Don't be a stranger now. Let's go look at the still real quick. The moon shine still is old, but the best possible condition for its age. Of course it is. I fixed it. And that's her famous moonshine. And that's be a thief if I stole it. I'm not going to drink out of the toilet. Not today. All right, so let's um let's check real quick. Punga fruit. Punga, punga, punga. Wild punga fruit. So I have nine. I need one more. Okay. And then she said yeast and fishing batteries. What are, how many of those do I have? Uh, I only have one. Damn, so I need a bunch more. Okay, so we don't have everything we need. But we are pretty close to the boardwalk. So we'll get the yeast. I think maybe we'll hold off on this mission for now. But we'll keep it available as we get it you know like once I, i'll keep i'll keep the mission on so that once we get there we should be okay yummy oh the froggy's gone Yeah, there it is. Spoonful of whiskey. Where's that gonna bring us? Does it even tell us? Where'd it go? Does hair? Uh, no, it doesn't. So we have to find batteries. Batteries and yeast. Which she kind of told us where they were, so. All right, we'll just keep heading south then. Where was that frog? I didn't even see it. Why you gotta be so Oh, Jesus. Psycho. He's got yeast. That was all of them, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. There was another one. Who's the other guy? One of them's right here. Oh, there he Creeper. Okay, so he was... He, there he is. One of them's over here. So there was three. Two batteries. And one to glue. The moon shines and buff out. Okay. We've been to the spa yet. This is the ritual ground, right? No, another ritual site. The hell is this place? Oh, we're here. Might as well check it out. Burned out basement. Who's gonna be in the basement? That's a question. There was no ratty. What was that?
supposed to do down here? Is there a button somewhere? I think we're good on use now. We should have three bags. Now we just need some more wild punga and some batteries. No. I knew I heard something. Did you? Why don't you have any damn batteries on you? Campsite. Anything good? Jet, jet, medics. More jet. Noodles! Shotgun shells, pork and beans. Come on. Any batteries? No batteries. Some whiskey. Beer, vodka. Dudes like their booze. Is that target practice? Let's go talk to the mad scientist, Desmond. I mean, he's not really a scientist, but you know what I mean. The mad ghoul. We gotta tell him that there's a brainiac that wants him dead. Who's the lesser evil in Point Lookout? Desmond or the brain guy? It's the real question. I kind of forget. Who is worse? The brainiac guy? Mr. Hologram Brain or Desmond? That is the question. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> the hell are you all mad about? I'm back, buddy. Excuse me. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out. And this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Yeah, so who is this brain guy anyway? I mean, brain thing. Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. You know this guy? What's going on here, buddy? Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here. And it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. So you want me to do something else, right? Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? 
Maybe you should watch your tone, old man. Oh, what? You think I haven't been shot before? Think that you, over the thousands who have tried, can take me down? You best wise the hell up and play along. I'll get what I want and you'll get rich. Then we can go about our separate goddamn ways. What do you want me to do? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So, he's off somewhere broadcasting to them. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to them, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find that squishy little worm and finish him off for good. <coughs> What's your plan, old man? If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have a perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take you to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? That big wheel down by the docks, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now go. Install the cog wave jammer on the Ferris wheel. All right, you can do that. Got some other stuff to do first though. I want to go sink that submarine. I'm glad we progressed the mission though. The main, the main mission. Take down the brain man. Help Desmond, even though Desmond's like an ass, he really is. He's a mean man. Mother effer. You know, maybe I'll double cross Desmond. He should have been nicer to me. If Desmond was just nicer to me, I would have done what he asked. Without hesitation. But, since he wanted to be a butthole, he'll have to get a taste of his own medicine. We'll see, though. I'm, und I'm still undecided on whether or not he's mean enough. How am I gonna get to the submarine? I wanna know. What's that? Is that the lighthouse? Let's get the light. Let's go to the lighthouse first. Why can't we use the lighthouse? That seems like a good spot. Oh, it's because it doesn't have any power, maybe? Probably it. Probably just doesn't have enough power. Or not, doesn't have enough. Doesn't have any power, I don't think. the point lookout lighthouse more yeast maybe we can find some batteries in here they have to have some batteries for the light at the top right well they maybe they probably had a generator or something maybe they have a fusion generator is the Minutemen already already out here camera is this a photographer we'll leave him here for a minute do, 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 do. another camera oh, let's take the camera take one of them is that a police hat so people were taking pictures. There was a cop when the bombs hit, I guess.
two. There it is. There it is. We got two. Now we got three. Seven more to go. Seven more batteries and some punga fruit. And we're in business. Ooh, I think we have like eight or nine punga, right? The lighthouse lamp needs replacing. Can we live? <gasps> no, we can't. Damn, we didn't make it. I thought we would have made it. Dang. All right, I guess we can't make it from that side. Maybe this side? Oh, ah. We just can't make it. Damn you. If only I had a uh, mech. I could, I could take away all fall damage, but we don't have one. There must be a mission somewhere that has to do with this lighthouse though. Just a guess. But there must be. Do we actually have to swim out to the submarine? I think we do. Yeah. Definitely a little bit out there. It's gonna be like uh Japanese. I mean Chinese. Ow. This is the terminal? Yes it is. it and then go hit the switch that makes sense mission parameters classified vessel is ordered to patrol hospital waters between these coordinates variations from patrol are tolerated as required to by evasive circumstances crew is under strict instruction not to engage enemy if de detected Self-destruct protocol must be initiated in the event of imminent capture. Status updates are required at six hour intervals, one by one way burst comm on orbital frequency. Let's initiate it. Confirm self-destruct by activating the fail safe's lever. Personnel will have less than one minute to evacuate. Confirm. Let's get out of here. 
We gotta go. We gotta go. About to die. See this thing blow. Yeah. Woohoo, we did it. All right, that's going to wrap up episode four. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you. Bye.